What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the issue with using external Western digital white label drives in an internal configuration. So if you shuck the drive and remove it from its enclosure and try to use it in a computer as an internal drive, it will not be detected, which is obviously bad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform a little bit of surgery on your drive and get it working on your internal drive. We're gonna test this out and hopefully it works and uh, go on from there. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself, what is happening here? Well, it turns out that the new um, SATA specification that the Western Digital Drives use has a pin, uh, the 3.3 volt pin, I believe, uh, which is the third pin on the actual power connector here that makes it incompatible with a lot of different um, drive connectors. There are some very old Molex to SATA drive connectors that will also bypass this pin, but in reality, if you're using a modern computer, you're probably gonna need to remove the third pin here so that it actually bypasses um, whatever checks it does at the beginning. Specifically, uh, and apparently this is um, done by Western Digital on the third pin to actually disable and turn off the drive when power is sent to it. So how do we fix that? Well, we basically need to either disable the ability for that pin to uh, make a connection by covering it with either um, a really jank solution is like black tape, a slightly less jank solution would be a piece of captain tape Kapton is non-conductive uh, as well, so you can use that uh, to avoid catching the pin. And a more destructive route, which is the one we're going to take, is actually removing that third pin completely. So let me change the camera around so you can see what I'm working with. And we're just going to try it out. I mean, that's what the channel is for. So if it works, great. If not, <laughs> you'll know that as well. Um, this is an eight terabyte drive. It does have content on it already, and I've already attempted to load it into the uh, computer, and it does not show up in the BIOS. Therefore, an operating system would have no chance of reading it either. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that pin and see how it works. All right, so that looks like a pretty good angle. Now, we wanna use kind of like an X-Acto knife or something really small for this. I'm actually gonna attempt to use um, a regular, uh, pocket knife and a really steady hand to try and pull this out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. It doesn't help that this isn't uh, the sharpest knife either. There we go. So pin three here. We're going to go ahead and lift that up and let's take a look at that. Let's see if I could focus it a bit and you can see that now it's kind of lifted that third pin right there, right there. And I'm just going to kind of bend it back and forth until it kind of breaks off. You can also use some pliers and just kind of grab this here. Don't pull, just kind of like bend it back and forth until it falls off on its own. You don't want to damage any other components. And that's it. That's the evil part that is stopping your drive from working. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this back in and see what happens. I'll let you know if it becomes formatable again or if the original files and data are all still there. All right, so it detects the drive in the BIOS. Let's actually restart and see if it's uh, in the computer itself. And yep, the drive showed up in Windows with all of its data intact. Very, very cool. Glad to see that there's a workaround for it, but kind of bummed to see uh, any kind of restrictions put in place that would specifically stop it from working internally in the first place. Thankfully, it's a pretty easy fix, and even though it's destructive, it's not a difficult destructive fix, and it works great. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and of course, uh, do this at your own risk. Peace. Bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, uh. Mike the Tech, the architect, uh. Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, uh.